Hey everyone, this is Brandon, and I'm coming to you tonight to uh, show YouTube some cool features on Address Book and also on iCal and how they work together. Um, first thing I want to talk about is um, the preferences. For instance, when you work with an Apple um, program such as iCal or Address Book or any of those programs for that instance, um, in the top left hand corner where you actually have the name of the application that is opened up, you're going to see something called preferences and in there you can usually do a lot of your changes um, for the account or the way things are lined up or done inside there so playing around with that a little bit and understanding what preferences does for each program will help you and educate you in creating uh, a faster workflow or maybe helping you with things that you're not familiar with so we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at what um, comes up when you do preferences for address book um, the first thing is, is just some basic stuff. Uh, show first name before last name, follow the last name. Um, stuff like preferences that maybe you feel more comfortable with. Sort by last name, address format in the United States. Um, font size, so if some people have a harder time reading the smaller fonts that are in Apple, you can change it from medium to large or to small. Um, you can also notify people when my card changes. Um, it's kind of an interesting concept for, yeah, but for instance, what Apple kind of developed was what they call my card. Um, you'll see B card a lot of times what it is. It's just like an address card. Um, and what that helps you with is you can send those to people. It's just like a business card, but um, with the B card, it's electronic. And uh, so if you do change um, your card in any way uh, to change it to your address or a new email address or whatever, you can change it and it'll notify all the people in your address book. So that's something that's really kind of neat. Um, synchronize. Um, this whole concept is just depending on whether you use Mobile Me, Exchange, Yahoo, Google, things like that. You can synchronize with them and create those accounts. Um, going on to template, this is a really important thing. Developing your template. Um, this will change your template whether you've already created these templates or it's something new and you're creating your address book for the very first time. Um, so what's cool about this is that. You can change um, if it's, you know, how many work numbers, mobile numbers. Um, the big thing I want to talk about right now, which is really cool, a lot of people don't know about this, is a birthday. Um, you can actually add the birthday in there or take it out, and I've added it in there. Um, and the neat thing with the birthday concept is once that's added in there, you can actually sync that with your calendar. Instead of having to put each birthday in there, it'll put it in there automatically when you put their birthday inside your address book. We'll look at that in just a second here. Um, we're going to go to phone. Um, this is just a preference here in the United States. Obviously, if you live in another country, that's going to change. You can change the formats and uh, just the way you want it to lay out. Um, v card um, just depends on where you save your V cards in 3.0, 2.1. Um, and then this is kind of cool. Uh, enable private ca me card. Um, so, like, if you don't want that, you can private your own card. And then when you export, do you export in V card? With your notes and your photos that's something that's really important so if you create your card and you start sending it out to people and you have notes private notes that are underneath your name only you want to be careful with that because that's something that will be exported with it um, I do export my photo with it uh, it's just something that I feel that is important so um, we're gonna go to um, sharing here this is something that's really in interesting um, this is something that for instance if it's your spouse or somebody you want and trust you can actually share your address book by just hitting the plus key here finding that person that's in there and what it does is it sends them an email address and then they can do it so I'm going to just show you that real quick here um, I'm doing this on another computer so um, from here I'm going to do just like what we did there with the um, address book and um, share that with me so I'm gonna go ahead and just go to the same thing like we did is sharing clicking on the sharing thing and hitting the plus sign down here and um, you check up in this corner right here that you are sharing your address book then you hit the plus key um, and then I will type in my name and then I'm gonna hit OK um, and then it says send invitation right here. So once you create that name, you can just click send invitation. It puts it in email format and then sends it. So um, I just sent it. So for instance, you just go to the plus key, find the name, hit OK, and then send the invitation. Um, then for instance, when you go to your uh, mail and you get a new mail in here, um, it pops up 
uh, as an invitation and then it says click here to automatically su to subscribe now and then it pulls up your address book and it says would you like to subscribe to Daryl Cruz's address book and you hit subscribe and what that does is just put a separate address book and actually links it together so when you go here all of his contacts are going to start popping up in here so this is really neat like for instance especially if it's a spouse or something and you don't want to create a whole new thing um, to delete it just right click on it and um, you can just hit delete on your keyboard to ask you are you sure you want to stop subscribing you say okay and then that's done so that's a really neat feature for a lot of people and um, so we're gonna go back to iCal um, or we'll go to context real quick and just show you a couple of things um, we're gonna go to YouTube real quick here um, this is something I just set up for YouTube and uh, um, a person that's not even I know but um, I'm just gonna put in a birth date we're gonna put in two one and we'll put in 2000 that's fine and then we're just gonna go ahead and click off of that so that's saved in there and it's under Robert Kerr now for instance um, in my I calendar when I go to preferences one thing that I want to make sure that I do is under advanced is um, uh, actually it's under general I think uh, show birthdays in calendar and that's where you want to check right there and when you check that it comes up with a subscriptions to birthdays so for instance with the one that I just put in on February 1st 2000 so we're gonna go to birthdays here and we're gonna go to February 1st and you're going to see Robert Kerr's birthday and that's the contact that I had inside the address book. So this is really neat for a lot of people. This is something that always caused me a lot of grief because I ended up having to put everybody's birthday in and then realizing, oh man, you can just do this and it automatically puts in everybody's birthday. So it's a great reminder and great way to do it. Um, obviously you see it blue here again with it. You can change that uh, in the get info to change it to whatever color you want change it here and so that makes it a whole lot easier for you to do that. Um, one other thing I want to talk about is invitations. This is something that's really big. A lot of people ask me about this. Um, in iCal you can create an invitation so if you um, if you go to for instance your work calendar and you open up a new event um, inside of here we'll call this wash do the wash or car wash we'll put car car wash um, for instance in here if you want to add attendees you can do that right in here by just typing their name in so um, whatever name you want to go to you can just click on their email address and it'll automatically send that to them so this is something that a lot of people really enjoy um, uh, by putting that in there and then you just hit send and you'll get a confirmation back whether they accept it or they don't accept it. So that's something that's really cool for a lot of people. Um, again, we're going to run through um, iCal preferences real quick. This is something that you should look through days per week. Like if you only run a five-day week schedule, you can put that. If you want to start on Monday instead of Sunday. Um, scroll in weeks view. Um, day starts at 8 a.m. You can change that. And then here's that show time in month view. Um, and then... Oh, show time in month view. For instance, if you don't want your time set inside your calendar, I do. And then this is the show birthdays. And then add default alarm for 15 minutes. Um, obviously, I'm synchronizing my calendar with Mobile Me. Um, and so those are just some of the things. And then in advance, you can turn the time zone on. And there's a couple other things. Turn all alarms off if you don't want it to do it. So automatically retrieve invitations from mail. This is a big thing. If you do have people that constantly send you stuff to uh, for invitations that you need to accept, definitely want to have that on. So um, that's pretty much it for iCal and um, uh, contacts. If you have any other questions, you can post on below. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.